Well, good afternoon, everyone. Now, we learned this yesterday. Good afternoon, everyone. Ah, oh, see, 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 we are a learning organization. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Acting Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. Boris Luziak. The 18th Surgeon General of the United States of America, Dr. Regina Benjamin. The Acting Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. Stephen Galson. The 16th Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. David Satcher. The 15th Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. Joycelyn Elders. And the 14th Surgeon General of the United States, Dr. Antonio Novello. Well, we're gonna have a conversation for you today. Um, I'm going to ask each of them um, to um, give a few minutes of uh, opening thoughts, um, and then um, we're going to have this conversation. Dr. Luziak. Good. Thank you again for having us here. And, and, you know, I was just telling the rest of the crew here, I'm like a little kid in a candy store to be so blessed among such incredible public health lions. Um, what a great opportunity for me as Acting Surgeon General to be here today. And let me tell you sort of lessons learned in this last year. You know, we're, we're going to keep this to real brief, you know, three minutes or so. But, but amongst the things that I learned this year is the idea of impact of this office. And, you know, I, I'll acknowledge, and maybe the rest of you will impact. acknowledge the same, that people perhaps of a certain generation won't ever remember perhaps the name of a Surgeon General. C. Everett Koop is the last one people remember, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> And certainly no one's going to remember the name Boris Lushniak. I have a hard time pronouncing it myself. But, you know, let me get back to this idea of, you know, of this position and its potential impact. Reality is, you know, a while ago, all of you remember, we get letters from, from people. And oftentimes kids write in. And kid you not, a few months ago, I received this letter from a kid who writes in saying, Dear sir, just want to let you know, I have always wanted to be the acting Surgeon General of the United States. <laughs> Seriously. And I thought to myself, he either is so intelligent, knowing that the confirmation process can be very difficult, or he's missing it. But even as an acting Surgeon General, right, this past year has been quite incredible. The release of the 50th anniversary Surgeon General's report on smoking. Once again, celebrating commemorating 50 years since one of our own, since Luther Terry put out that report. 50 years of incredible progress, realizing that 25 years ago, it was C. Everett Koop that put out the 25th anniversary report. What an incredible honor for even an acting to go through. But, but let me tell you what the impact of that report was. You know, we, we measure things now more so than we ever have in the past. Surgeon General's 50th, one week after launch, more than 3.7 billion impressions, 732 broadcasts, 407 stations represented more than 30 million impressions. Radio news, 216 broadcasts, 144 stations, more than 3,600 printed stories, nearly $4 million of ad value from this one report. A few months later, we issued a report on skin cancer prevention. The cumulative reach of a skin cancer prevention report, perhaps even because it was slightly out of the lanes of usual reports from the Surgeon General's office, nearly a billion, a billion impressions Articles on general interest websites had the most reach with 348 million people, 2,100 plus stories. Television programs let off, 703 stories broadcast on 382 television stations. Total publicity value of one Surgeon General's report, over $12 million worth of information about public health. So we're in the new age. Again, the name Boris Lushniak, very difficult. 
but the name Surgeon General, acting or confirmed, has its impact. When the Surgeon General's office speaks, people want to hear, what are you talking about? What are you interested in? Where are we going? What should we be doing as a nation? And then the whole idea of social media. Two plugs to put in on this. One of which is, shameful plug alert number one, we're trying to break through 30,000 people who are following us on Twitter. We're at 29,000, 140% increase since last year. So at surgeon underscore general, sign up, follow us, let's break 30,000. <laughs> shameful plug alert number two, this, we, this year, as every year in November, Thanksgiving Day is Family Health History Month. Let's talk about our family health histories as we're sitting around being thankful for good health. So hashtag, my daughter's taught me this. You don't even have to say it anymore. Cool people don't say hashtag this anymore. They go, family health history. <laughs> so remember, family health history. Thank you so much.